A Quiet Place Day One. So A Quiet Place Day One is the prequel to the very first A Quiet Place. So I went to theaters to see this with my girlfriend, and this is all about the the very first day that the alien creatures crash to Earth. As New York City is invaded by alien creatures who hunt by sound, a woman named Sam fights to survive. So this woman named Sam, she's a cancer patient, and she goes uh, goes into the city with her nurse, played played by Alex Wolf, and then that's when all heck breaks loose. This film also stars jo Joseph Quinn as Eric. I'm not going to tell you what Eric does and who Eric is in the movie, but this movie really, really surprised me because I'm a big fan of the first one, and I have not seen the second one. So as someone who's missing the middle piece here, the second film in this three-film series so far in release order, I really enjoyed this one. However, it's not without its issues. With that being said, this is not a bad film. This is not a bad film whatsoever. A Quiet Place Day One is definitely an okay film. Nothing I'm going to sit down and rewatch every single year. But I'll say this. Lapita Nyong'o as Sam does a fantastic job. So does Quinn. And Alex Wolf, while he's in it, is very good. Uh, he plays a very different role. I really enjoyed him as this nurse. Uh, he has a great bond with Sam. The cat is adorable. The cat steals this show. However, while there are a lot of the A Quiet Place isms that we get from our movie here, what really hurts it, what really, really hurts it is we don't learn anything new about these creatures. This is your third film in this franchise that you have released. I get it. It's day one. We should have seen something more from these, uh, from these aliens, from these alien creatures. Instead, we don't learn a whole lot about them. We don't learn a whole lot about them in, in one, two, or day one. So now we know very little about these things. We know just that they're creepy looking. They're aliens. While there are a couple jump scares that are very effective, it's more tension based. The tension is what gets you here because the tension is so well built leading up to a good jump scare. And there's a there, there's a couple good scares here, one involving uh, a a daydreaming sequence, if you will, not, not a dream sequence, but a daydreaming scene that is really impactful. I did jump during that. And I like that because I wasn't expecting that to be in this type of a film. I was expecting, Oh, look, a quiet dark alley roar, or it's a quiet scene. A book falls. We get that. We get multiple scenes like that. There's a nice little bond between, um, Sam and her cat here. Again, Lupita Nyong'o steals this film. Fantastic. Fantastic performance. She's, she's come on. She's Lupita Nyong'o. What do you want me to say? She's a fantastic actress. One of the best working today. She has an Academy Award for a freaking reason. I really enjoyed this one. It's not without its faults, but I thought it was a good enough film. If we would have learned more about these characters, or sorry, about these alien creatures, and th there were some predictable jump scares here and there that could have been worked on a little bit. A couple were unneeded and we don't really have a new story except for now Sam, when when the aliens are just in town, her main purpose is to go and get a slice of pizza because she doesn't know how much time she has left because she knows she's passing away. She knows she's passing away and she, she wants to eat pizza where her father took her to eat pizza. I really enjoyed this one. I'm going to give this one a three and a half out of five. And on my grading scale, I'm going to give that a very good B minus. A very high B minus, but B minus nonetheless.